subject of change, but I do believe that we're focusing on the wrong aspect of the gospel. Mm -hmm. I think that the gospel is um, a controversial word. I think it's something that we um, ascribe to know and really have no idea what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it is a well-written book, but it makes just as much sense going forward as it does backwards, as it does left to right, as it does right to left, literally. Mm -hmm. Not figuratively, literally. If you read the verse backwards, I'm mm -hmm. telling you it makes sense. If you read it from back to front, backwards, forwards, left to right, right to left, the Bible makes sense. I, I don't think that it's by happenstance, but I think that is motive of the enemy. Hear me on today. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that, and this gospel shall be preached unto all the world, uh, then shall the end come. Mm -hmm. I really don't know anybody in the world who has not heard about Jesus, mm -hmm. who has not heard about God, who has not heard about salvation, or is in fear, or fretful of them being saved. I do mm -hmm. not know. I believe that the end has already come. Hear me. I believe that the end has already come. I believe that we are awaiting something that the white man or the red man or the black man are the influence of themselves because they want to captivate on power, not money, has influenced us to believe in a religious sector that is going to end the world that is never going to happen. Um, I think our focus is in the wrong place. Where should the focus be? The book of Genesis says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. um, if we take it word for word as a literal um, meaning, which every verse is different, then there are more than one heaven and there's more than one earth. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it means that the world that we believe that we're in is different than the world that we're actually a part of. Mm -hmm. I know the Bible says that after Cain would rebel against God, he drove him into the earth. Uh, but happenstantially, we believe we live on top of the earth. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to find out what era are we in that we don't understand the scriptures um, is it even important to understand? But I know what is important, what's not up for debate, what is looming to our everyday fear, what is killing us as a people, as a generation, what is causing us the most pain is not the absence of the gospel. Mm -hmm. It's the absence of our self-worth and our self-identity. This is not just a color-coded issue. This is a white issue, a black issue, a red issue, a Islamic issue, a Islamic, a um, a human issue. And I think in that name, do we see the difference between us and the other creatures God would create? Um, is that we are humans, which means we are the same man, just different hues. I think our focus should be on I think our focus should be on today. Hear me now. If we're taking the Bible literal word by word, it says don't worry about tomorrow. Mm. It says cuz tomorrow comes with its own cares. It said look at the birds. Mm -hmm. It says, they neither store nor have born, and yet God provides for them. I think our focus is on the wrong place. Mm -hmm. I think our focus is in the wrong place to the wrong people at the wrong time. And we are off defending a gospel, defending a truth, defending a, a sector of doctrine that we have no idea where it has come from. Mm -hmm. And if you believe, if you believe, if you believe, if you believe that the entire world is correct on this one issue. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that straight is the way that leads to the path of salvation, but, well, it says wide is the road that leads to the way of destruction. You know, I, I'm, 
I'm cautious, but I'm pretty much confirmed on today that we do things wrong. Mm -hmm. I was talking the other day and I was um, asking, have you ever seen an animal die? You, have, have you ever seen a dead animal mm -hmm. that, that has not been tampered or tamed or caged by humans? I don't know if you ever walked through the woods. Have, have you ever seen a dead bird? Mm -hmm. I mean, one that has not been tampered with. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Where? Is it like on the ground? Like laying? Okay, out? okay. We're, we're, we're not sure how it died then. Yeah. Okay. Like... I don't know. It, 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 more than likely, more than likely, um, if you saw it dead, uh, it died by the infringement of us. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. If animals die, mm -hmm. we see them all over the place. Listen to me. Think about that the ground would be filled with dead birds. Hmm. I mean, you, you think about how many species of birds are out there in the world. Mm -hmm. if, if birds die, lived a average lifespan of an animal, right, a, a tame one, a cage one, maybe a four or five years, mm -hmm. then the ground should be filled with massive amounts of birds. Simply one, because there's not enough animals to eat them. Because mm -hmm. whatever they would die from, so would the animal that ate them. You, you, you cannot account for me why the ocean uh, top is not filled with dead floating whales mm -hmm. and sharks mm -hmm. and dolphins. Mm -hmm. Not that they erode so fast that they don't die. Jesus says, I go mm -hmm. to prepare a place for you, that where I am, there ye may be also. Mm -hmm. And it says that the disciples looked up into the sky, and the angels came, whoever they were, and said, why are you gazing up there? What, what are you looking for up there? The same way that he went, the same way that he's coming back. Why are you looking up there? And I know I realize that we're in a backwards world. I know it. So I think our focus is wrong. He said, and this gospel shall be preached into all the world. And then shall the end come. And we're still preaching it. Now. I think here's the setup from the enemy, not the devil, the enemy. Um, I think the Bible has loopholes, but parts that have been inserted, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's put off to look forward to something that we cannot explain and that should be explainable. Mm -hmm. t t tell me how God is omnipotent, all-powerful, omnipresent, but does not know when the end is going to come. Tell me why he says that only worship me, love me, I am God and God alone, and we put him into three parts, mm -hmm. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tell me why the sacrifice that is his son has become more of a worship theme than it is God. That people get offended if you only serve God and don't bring light to the sacrifice seemingly Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. the, Tell me why the angel comes and says his name should be called Emmanuel and we call him Jesus. Mm. Jesuit. Uh, Christ, which means earth pig, is an insult that we look down on the Antichrist 666 when 666 is God's number. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. It is not the devil's. Mm. Um... I mean, this is all stuff that, like, you can look up, you can research to the furthest Bible that was ever uh, written that we have record of 
um, the Codex. And I wonder why people build such structures and live the way that they do. Mm -hmm. And it seems like the only people on this side who are consumed with something, defending something that they cannot touch, see, don't know why I faith this way, I hope this way, I think is from the naivety of slavery. From passed down generations of being oppressed, needing something to hope in other than ourselves because we couldn't free us. So we allowed them to give us handbooks and tell us how to be free. Mm -hmm. And I think it further suppresses us into the mental slavery that we see before us today that we'll forfeit everything and defend a truth that we have no idea where it comes from. Mm -hmm. so I want to shift. Now my caution is this. And I'm done. My caution is this. Mm -hmm. My caution is, God, I want to be open and grow as much as possible. And God, don't, don't, don't ever let me reach a point where I think I know too much. Mm -hmm. Where... It, it sounds ridiculous to me when preachers are preaching and they're preaching educated and they can expound on the text and they can do introspect and exegesis and eisegesis and they talk about the enemy, the devil. And I'm, I'm confused on how you can come all this way and not understand that the biggest enemy you face is not some spiritual being that's that's equal to God, but not tempted, nor tested, nor taken out by God. And that's evolution. That's, that's, that's revolutionary. That, that, that is foreign to everybody else. But when you become a scripture studier, a student to the Bible, mm -hmm then like you understand that there's more past that book. Prove it, preacher. Jesus says greater works. Greater works. Not greater souls shall you save. Not greater disciples will you make. Greater works. What work are we talking about? He says, I must be about my father's business. What was his father's business? Well, we know that Joseph was a carpenter. Listen to me. And we make up in the scriptures that Jesus didn't have an earthly father, but the Bible says his father was a carpenter. He says, I must be about my father's business. But we don't find him preaching. We find him in church teaching. Mm -hmm. Question going, trying to educate the people on the greater masses of what you need to do. So anytime you find him in scripture, he's healing, delivering, setting people free. He's feeding people. And we want to be caught in church, taking up the receipts for all the donations that we steal from people. Mm -hmm. And then pass it back out to the community sparingly as if we're helping them with their own money. And Jesus comes into the temple and says, you've made my father's house not a house of worship. You've contorted it to a den of thieves. Mm -hmm. Just greater works than these will you be able to do. It says after this, the disciples were up in the upper room. It was 120 of them, over 120. And it says, when they all were on one accord, then the Holy Ghost fell. And they began to speak to every man in his own language and in his own tongue. And the Bible said, says some supposed they were drunk, but everybody understood what they were saying. Mm -hmm. I think the message is not for the church. I think the message is for the world. And what message did I take 15 minutes to get to? 
is that the work of salvation is done and you're saved. And surprisingly, the salvation is this.